Today is the 45th anniversary of one of the most famous Great Lakes shipwrecks in history, the sinking of the Edmund Fitzgerald. A local man decided he wanted to pay his respects to the 29 victims lost on the vessel. Paula Tutman joins us with his story. On an unseasonably warm day on Belle Isle, Tom Labuda prepares to go sailing. This is my Edmund Fitzgerald that I made. Why did I make it? God only knows. This is where I climb in at. This is where I get in and steer. Everywhere he takes his ship, she's ready. He draws a crowd. Is it right here? No. Oh my God. A carpenter by trade and an artist by hobby. Does anybody know I'm an artist? No. <laughs> Does anybody buy my stuff? No. He was just looking for something to do and he decided to make a replica. Putting lights on it, to the horns, to the motor. Of the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, the Great Lakes freighter that sank in Lake Superior in a storm exactly 45 years ago today. All 29 souls were lost. The wonder of the Great Lakes is all of them can feel as vast as an ocean, and Lake Superior is the largest. This was no Lego project with a great deal of love of wood and craft and history. He painstakingly and quite accidentally built a memorial to a vessel and its crew. All 29 people. It says, in memory of, of 1975. And then set it adrift on a smaller but far more manageable lake. I don't watch TV. I never owned a computer in my life. Um, just something to do. Uh... Uh, did you notice he was actually in, <laughs> he was actually inside that thing? So you know what some people might say, hey, you know, hey guy, go get a hobby. Well, that is his hobby. And honestly, Devin, right now the world is absolutely crazy. I kind of think this guy is a little more sane right now. He looks pretty sane in doing this. What do you think? I totally agree with you. Everybody's been looking for the escape that he has had all along for himself. Yeah. And hearing the strains right. of Gordon Lightfoot in the background, too. What a, uh, the poetry that that gave us all of this day 45 years ago. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? Really something. All right, Paula, thanks for that. That was great. Still to